Hi everybody, I'm Patrick and welcome to this video about editing the profile. Now I've noticed a lot of posts in the group regarding like the lack of lack of a first name or the lack of a, a, a last name in the user registration fields. So uh, that arises when your registration form doesn't ask for those fields. So the confusion lies where many people think they have to actually edit the registration form and add these fields to it. Now you can do that, but you know what? There's really no need to do that because you can do that with an edit profile form. And you need an edit profile form because quite frankly, people need to change things in their profile. They may need to change their last name or maybe even change their first name. Uh, all kinds of things. Maybe they got to change a student ID or something that might be a custom field in there. Uh, so there's all kinds of reasons why you do want to have an edit profile field. So let's take a look right now. This is my uh, back end right here. And if I look here, I have no first name. If I look here, I have no last name. So the registration form didn't capture these. And that's quite common. In fact, it doesn't have to capture these. These are not uh, required fields. So the way you can remedy this is you can go to a course. So I'm going to go, actually, we're going to go to a quiz. We're going to use one of the techniques that, uh, that's quiz-based. So we'll go to the quiz right here. And if you notice, I have a, a little pop-up. Now, this pop-up pop -up is created strictly with vanilla J JavaScript. There's no jQuery involved, so it's very efficient. And it uh, should work well on mobile de devices as well. So I get this and it says, hey, uh, your first name and your last name are missing. And I have a little link where I can edit my profile. So I'll click on this link. And it takes me to the edit profile page. And these two fields, you can see they're required. Now this is made with gravity forms. And there's nothing special. It's the standard gravity forms basic that you can buy for $59. Now I've done a few things to it. I let it uh, be populated with dynamic uh, fields, and these dynamic fields are coming directly from user meta. So what I'll do is simply click in here, and I'll type in my first name, and then type in my last name, and click the Submit button like so. And you see now it's showing us the regular quiz. But if we were to go back to the profile and I reload the profile, you'll see that these two fields will now be populated. And so I can delete them just to make sure this concept works. I'll update my profile here. And then I'll reload my browser to make sure those changes took. Yes, they're no longer there. And then I'll go back to my quiz, and I'm going to go ahead and reload the browser, and then the pop-up should happen because I'm missing the two required fields. So I can do this forever, but this is the idea, is you don't let them take the quiz until the required fields are filled in. So that's uh, pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video.